I'm going to do a couple of videos on compound interest, but not the uh, boring way where I log you down with formulas. I want to just ask you a simple question. How long will it take to double your money? Wouldn't you be surprised to know that you can calculate this estimate in less than three seconds? So here it is. Here's the breakdown. Let's say that you invest some money today and you know the fixed amount that you're going to get back every year as a rate of return, like 2% or 3% or whatever. How many years will it take to double your money? Let's assume that the interest is compounded annually for simplicity. The answer is as simple as taking 72 and dividing by that rate. That's it. Let's try a few examples. How long will it take an investment to double if the rate of return is 8%? Okay, take 72 and divide by 8. You get 9. 9 years to double your money. Look down here, you'll see that approximately to 3 significant digits, the uh, answer is actually closer to 9.01. But that's pretty damn close. Okay, what if you were investing something at 3%? How long would it take to double your money? Well, 72 divided by 3. Can you do that in 3 seconds? I'm sure you can. The answer is 24. The more accurate answer is 23.5 years. But for 3 seconds of thinking, that's pretty damn close. Let's try to apply this to some other field beyond finance. How about biology? So what if you had a particular species of bird that's growing by 6% every year? How long would it take for that population to double? If you want a very quick and pretty damn accurate estimate, the answer is 72 divided by 6, or 12 years. So the answer is actually closer to 11.9 years, but 12 years is amazingly close. What a simple estimate. This is called the rule of 72. Take whatever quantity uh, in terms of a rate that you have and take 72 and divide by that rate, and you'll have the number of years that it'll take to double whatever you're measuring. Of course, there's limitations to how far this goes. So, for example, what rates would be good for this estimate? And why use the number 72? Well, this video is meant to be something very simple and, at the beginning, superficial. But I'd like to cover these more intricate questions in a second video, which will be posted soon. In order for you to understand the next video, I recommend that you review a few things, including percent error and logarithms and Taylor series. If you don't know what Taylor series is, that's okay because you can actually understand my explanation and skipping the Taylor series part is not a big deal. I look forward to the next video and uh, keep on watching. Thank you.